Hey, yo, Tiger. Let me holler at you real quick. Hey, some people might wonder or were thinking and wondering why Tyga wasn't at the Kendrick Lamar pop out event. You know, he's from Compton. You know what I'm saying? Pretty popular individual. Well, I, let's just say it'd be pretty, it'd get pretty awkward for Tyga when Not Like Us started playing. Imagine me and Tyga having to sit through five performances of Not Like Us. Niggas around you just looking at you, giving you the side eye. Tyga used to be like a C list kind of rapper doing mixtapes and that one's with the likes of Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? He was he was at one point, I think, doing like 100 k first week. Nowadays he does he just does OnlyFans and freaky ass nigga raps. Imagine like imagine your name Tyga. That's what's supposed to stand for. Thank thank you God always. And then you're doing OnlyFans. What type of shit? Like nigga, change your name. Imagine I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here doing point and my name's Gaff. God always first. Like nigga, you're currently putting God last. Anyways though. A lot of people think Tyga wasn't at the pop out event because he didn't want to be in, at an event. Pretty much the whole purpose was dancing on Drake's grave because, you know, Tyga at one point was a part of Young Money, you know, along with Drake and Nicki Minaj. Even though Drake, I don't really think that's the case because Drake and Tyga did have kind of beef back in the day that they settled. But I don't think that that's why Tiger wasn't there. I don't think Tiger was there because why the fuck would Kendrick Lamar invite this nigga, bro? I'm about to perform Not Like Us five times in a row. And, I, and I'm going to invite the original freaky ass nigga to perform to do a set. Hell nah, bro. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Because this used to be a pretty big deal back in 2015, 2016 and whatnot. You know, the dark times, you know, before... This was way before cancel culture. Cause if this, if what if, if Tyga was doing back then, what um, if he was doing what he did back then, right now, bro, it'd be over, bro. They'd be giving him the Cody Cole treatment, and it pretty much he did pretty much did exactly the same thing Cody Cole did. So, back in 2015, Tyga confirmed his relationship with reality star Kylie Jenner in August 2015. Now you wanna know why that's so crazy? Because uh, Kylie, Kylie Jenner is born around, I'd say, the same time I was. So she's like, she's like 26 now, probably about to be 27, something like that. Her birthday is in August. So if she was born in 97, and he confirmed their relationship in August 2015, that's, that would be the exact time where she turned 18. And this was after a month of speculations of their relationship so pretty much Tyga was having relations with a 17 year old girl and confirmed it when she was 18 and even if he didn't have any relations with her prior to her being 18 which I doubt I don't think anyone doubts uh it would still be weird it was still people would still consider this grooming because you're you're now confirming a relationship with a girl you've been spotted with um, months, wait, months, or even years before she turned eighteen. So that's kind of weird, you know. They people even speculate that they had a thing when she was sixteen. So pretty much, you have Kylie Jenner at seventeen, who was pretty much having a relationship with Tyga, who was twenty five. Pretty much the same thing that happened with that um, guy that they're canceling now, Cody Cole or whatever. 2006, 2015, 16, when not, were people, cancel culture hadn't reached its peak like what it is at right now. But even then, bro, this was a big deal. Like, you can't just sit there and be 25 years old dating a woman who just turned 18. I mean, you had people like Charlemagne defending it, though, which is funny to me. Charlemagne would never do that nowadays. But, you know, people were more likely to defend that back then nowadays there's just no defense like no one wants to hear it there's no defense for this type of behavior nowadays but back then this was this was a pretty big deal even back then uh, this is when um drake and tiger got into a little spat uh drake dissed um tiger on the timestamp rapper uh, on a timestamp record on if you're reading this is too late uh i believe 6 p.m in new york is what it was called where he pretty much tells Tyga to act his age and not his girl's age, which is just the most ironic thing ever. Especially when um, Drake, when right now people are 
get at Drake because of pictures of Drake hugged up and kissing on uh, underage Kylie Jenner. So it's just hilarious to me. Like no wonder this nigga was not invited to the to the pop out event, even though he qualified. He he met the standards. Like he has a whole album with YG, Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Bopped his song Chris Breezy. I mean my fault, Chris Breezy, and he still didn't get the invite. That's crazy. But it's not because pretty much you can't sit there and have this guy who's who who's an even bigger fan than Drake. My favorite part of this whole debacle is when Drake dropped the um song or not Drake <laughs> Tiger. You know, same niggas but very different. Um when Tiger dropped the song Stimulated, he dropped the song in video and had Kylie Jenner in the video. This song is so this the song in video is just so ridiculous. So I guess he, he decides to address all the criticism by saying, Well, she's a she might be young, but she's a big girl when she's stimulated. Some of the most ri crazy lyrics I've ever heard. This is my favorite part of the video. Plaintiff hit the mall, then we skip a raiment. They say she young. I should have waited. She a big girl dog when she stimulated. Bro has pen and pad there. Like, and I just love when he says a line. He's like, oh yeah, that's hard. I got to write that down. I got to write that down. <laughs> like, what's wrong with Tiger? Nigga dead thought that was the hardest bar. Shit, you guys me, Tiger, he made the right decision, bro. I'm, if I'm Tiger, and niggas know, this, like, this is like the biggest beef, the most publicized event in modern day history, and they're doing the pop, it, pop out event where they get finna perform not like us 15 times, bro. I'm, if I'm Tiger, bro, I'm not going to be there, bro. I don't wanna, I don't wanna reignite this situation in 2024. This is career ruining stuff. You don't want to reignite. You see what it did to Drake. And Tiger's situation is a lot more worse than whatever Drake had going on. And Drake's stuff is pretty, pretty bad. Like, Drake's stuff is like, it's kind of hard to defend the, some of this Drake stuff. But Tiger's stuff is like 10 times worse. Because he, like, was, he 100% was 25 having sexual relations with a 17, maybe even 16 year old. There's like no denying that. So if I was him, I wouldn't want to. I don't. I wouldn't want to um, reignite this discussion. So smart decision on um, Tiger's part not popping up at the pop out event. And Kendrick definitely he would look like a hypocrite if he allowed this man in his event while he's finna perform not like us and call Drake a, a fan fifty times. So yeah, that's pretty much why you you didn't see Tiger at the event and rightfully so.